Now something strange and rather disturbing just happened which I wanted to share with you. Um, I've been asked by several people recently, have you heard of electroculture? I think you'd be really interested. So I finally got around to having a look at some videos and so on on YouTube and it's very interesting and quite unlike the idea of electrifying plants which you sort of are but you're not directly. Anyway that's a whole other video to talk about. What concerned me is that as you can see I like books and I wanted a book or two about electroculture which could really help me to practically make some stuff and try it out and see how it works and so I went online and I looked for books and I came across one which came up in a search and I looked at it and it looked like it would be fairly comprehensive so I bought it and it arrived and uh, as soon as it arrived I, the first thing I could see was that it was self-published which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, Tony Wright's ideas were first published in well a self-published <laughs> book and that's you know it's a mind-blowing thing so I was quite fine with that but where it starts to get quite strange is when I started to read it and the book itself it has some diagrams but it describes itself uh, if you look at it's one of those books where it says so many books in one but actually when it arrives it's only one book and so book three here we are a comprehensive guide with illustrations, instructions and safety tips. So this section is 50 pages and it has just three diagrams in it and one of them is this rather strange one with a pyramid and a pyramid with a plant in it. Well you could just say put a plant in a pyramid, that's not even remotely useful. There's um, a diagram here which is too small, it's got numbers but the numbers are not referred to so what are they all about and when you read the text there's a lot of repetition it's kind of weird they keep repeating the same different things but as different stages of and I was thinking it would be much better organized to just put everything about basalt in one place and everything about magnetic antennas in another place and some of the things it was saying this is a so-and-so and I was thinking that's not what I've seen it called when I've been looking at some YouTube videos and I was all rather confused and then the last bit which is really quite weird and sinister is where it talks about AI, the synergy of electroculture, AI and robotics. <laughs> so you know so I, I essentially was thinking oh this is just a rubbish book, I've wasted my money and so I went online because the only place this was available was on Amazon, I don't normally buy from Amazon but there wasn't very much choice, there were some old books which I've also ordered from the 1920s because electroculture is quite an old thing it's not new by any means and um, I looked and of course it's got all these five star reviews I bought it because it had 22 five star reviews now when I went back and looked those five star reviews were all written in the last 11 days <laughs> um, it was only published on the 29th of July or something published of course it's self-published it's print on demand no price on the back which is always a bit strange um, and so you know if you buy a, a book from a published author you know that it's been properly properly edited. Now um, there's a few typos in here and at one point it even says um, that you've got to be very precise about the electricity you apply and I'm not going to be able to find it here am I now? Oh here we go Give me a moment, the page turns. A current of about 0.1 to 1 mega amperes. Now a mega amp, that's just going to, I mean, it's going to fry your onions while they're still in the ground. And that's the kind of thing that just, you know, a human would not make that mistake. Anyway, so I looked up Stephen Dowding, 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 which all, also I should, you know, Bell should have rung about this because Charles Dowding and Gardner He's a very well-known no-dig gardener, so, and then, anyway, we'll get to the other bit in a moment. So, I couldn't find anything about this guy. Now, on the back, there's a nice picture of him looking happy and a description of, you know, he's a farmer and he discovered electroculture and it changed his life and so on and so forth and he saves seeds. And that all sounds very nice, but if you try and find him on the internet, he doesn't exist. 
And then you go back to Amazon and you see that he's written a couple of other books. <laughs> and one of them, if you go to the two and one star reviews, everyone's going, this is just AI generated twaddle. I want my money back. And then there's this whole collection of five star reviews, which actually are quite vague when you read them and also look like they could have been AI generated by ChatGPT or whatever it is. But because they're, and they're, they're appearing in clusters, like the ones that are for this book, which has just come out, they're appearing in clusters. And of course, they're pushing the rating up. So people like me come along and look at that and go, oh, there's all these five star reviews. That's obviously a good book, I'll buy it. But then behind this buried where you go three or four pages down, are people just going, this is rubbish. It's the worst book I've ever seen. It's completely disorganized. There's no diagrams or illustrations. And so, and then, so going back this morning, because I've asked for my money back, if you put electroculture into Amazon, for instance, then it comes up with this whole collection of books. And when you look at them and you do this sort of read, read more thing, where you click on read more, they're all the same. They've got different covers, but they're all saying the same kind of things. They've all got a picture of somebody on the back with their life story, which is almost always the same kind of life story with the details being a little different. They're a farmer, they're a gardener, they discovered electroculture, da da da. Nothing about the contents of the book, just the biography. And um, yeah, one of them was called Dave, uh, not David, John Copperfield. You know, it's, it's not even, the names of the people aren't even that creative. There was somebody else called Cooper, which is very close to copper, of course. And, and also they're talking about, yeah, just the devices you electrify the soil with. So it's almost as if somehow somebody's generating all these books, maybe to make it really difficult to find books about what electroculture really is. And there's not many of them, of course, and some of them are quite old and it's a new thing. And all of these books that look like this, that usually say five books in one, seven books in one, they all have the same kind of cover. They usually say stuff about as an expert in this. And um, yeah, just it's like hiding the real books behind a bunch of twaddle. And it, yeah, it even says on the front, AI powered bonus. What does that mean? So it's just look out for this. And presumably this is happening with all kinds of other things because this apparent person has also written a book on seed saving and books on gardening. And when the picture comes up, there's a, there's a photograph, you know, it's sort of a generated image that shows a whole collection of books all stuffed into a box, you know, so you get this huge thing, this arrives and it's only this. So anyway, I'm asking for my money back. And I just wanted to warn you that if you wanted to find out about stuff, um, and particularly if you go to out, it seems to be a problem with Amazon, because if you look up electroculture books generally and you ignore the Amazon results, you actually find some real books. So, yeah, it's kind of disturbing, to say the least, because books are really important. And the idea that somehow, presumably, there are people behind this, maybe there's somebody saying, hey, you can write a book about something without knowing anything about it by just going on to this program, chat GPT, whatever, type in some parameters, and it'll write a book for you. And you just paste in a few stock images, because there's no images in here by the author of actual things happening. They're all very vague stock images and diagrams. Um, and even this one, there's a diagram at the beginning, which I've seen in somebody else's uh, slide presentation. Here we are. And of course, this appears in the read more bit because it's in the first couple of pages. And you look at that and think, ah, this is the kind of thing that I'm going to get in this book. But it's the only diagram that shows anything particularly. And of course, nothing about it is described. So just wanted to, yeah, just warn you about AI generated content, not just on the internet, but now it seems to be going to books. Um, and maybe if one wants to be cynical to hide the real information, I don't know. But just look out for that. Uh, there are obviously suspicious telltales. If you see the author, look up the author. Can you find them anywhere else? Occasionally you can, but with books like this, they don't exist.